what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? This is King G in the house. This is your host with the most. What's up? Um, first of all, first and, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys for another day of life. Well, today I want to talk to you about, and I make videos on this, but I still don't see people acting on it, right? People, 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 people. This is a good time right now to buy your first home. Um, the, 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 the rates on, on a, on a, on a 30 year loan are at a low, are at, a, are at a, the lowest that it's ever been. Um, so this is a good opportunity to buy your own home. And a lot of people have this misconception. Okay. I gotta buy a home. I gotta put this, I gotta put that. Um, but there, 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 there there's programs out there that help you with your down payment. There are programs out there that you have to put zero, zero down. Um, and I'll tell you how. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? And and hit that bell right there and let you and it'll let you know. It'll notify you actually. It's a notifier. It'll let you know when I King Geo have uploaded a video. Now you got different programs. You got FHA, you got USDA loans, and you got VA loans, and then you got your 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 conventional loan, which is you have to put twenty percent down. And the good thing about that one is that you put 20% down, but you don't have no insurance on your house. You don't have to worry about that um, as far as the other ones are um, concerned. So, the other ones are federal program loans. The FHA is one loan. The USDA has one loan. The, the, the VA has one loan. The, the VA has no money down at all. You know, you're a veteran, so you don't have to put no money down at all. And they get basically the best rates anyway. So you put no money down. So then we go, then we have the USDA loan and we have the FHA loan. The difference between the FHA loan and the USDA loan is that the FHA loan, the USDA loan is usually for houses that are in rural areas, like where I live at. Um, mostly, that is, it. that is what it is, it's rural, rural areas. Um, you cannot buy a house like you, like you can um, with the FHA, you can buy a multiplex house, you know, a multi, a multi um, Multiplex house, and you can rent one side and then rent the other. You cannot do that with USDA, but you get more land with USDA because there is no limit on land that you could buy with USDA. As far as FHA, there is a certain amount of limit of land that you can buy. Um, both programs are great programs. Both programs are little to no money down. Uh, the FHA, you have to have a, you have to put down three point five percent down um, for a down payment. But the cool thing about the, the the cool thing about it is that you can always you can always talk with the seller. Not really the seller. You talk with your you, with your agent and tell the agent, well, you know what? Have them have the seller pay six percent, which that's the most they can pay, sixty percent of six percent of the closing cost. Okay. Or if your house is appraised at more than what is being sold for, and then you can roll you can roll in that down payment with your with your mortgage well, it won't be much but you could but you could do it but the house has to be appraised more than what the seller is selling it for so okay so that's that right so 3.5 and then with usda you you can put zero down in my usda loan i put zero i at I, 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 I closing cost i came out and i paid 500 and some dollars not because I wanted to pay five hundred, because I wanted to pay. I wanted to pay um, the first month off. Because yeah, let's say we moved in February, so our first our first mortgage payment was not in the February much. It wasn't up to April, so we had to pay that February, and then we had to pay March's um, interest rates. Not you just pay March interest rate, and that's it. In February, you make your first your first payment. Now, let's say you don't have the money to to go FHA. To put a 3.5 percent down okay when the house is not appraised at um, higher than what the seller the seller is, is, is selling it for so what you do you can you, you can still have you can still have the 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 seller put six percent down on the down payment or less and then you put the rest or there are programs each state has a down payment program and each state requires different rules some states they ask you, look, you're going to do a down payment program. We need you to to get to take one of our classes because they want to give you a class so you know how it is to pay rent. I mean, a mortgage, you know, so you don't get behind. You know, it's going to be your, you know, especially if it's going to be your first time. 
So they want you to be as uh, as educated and, and as knowledgeable as possible. So when you go into this, you know what you're getting yourself into, and you know how you how to do it. Um, your credit score does not really matter that much. I mean, it does, but you know, the higher the score, the lower your rates are. Um, but FHA, I've noticed that they can go down in your credit score as far as five twenty, but you probably end up paying. You probably gonna end up paying a good ten percent down. But if you got five eighty five with FHA is good. Um, USDA loan is like six twenty five. You have to go, You have to have a, a debt to uh, the debt to income ratio. I think is fifty three percent. On both FHA, you have to have. I mean, you could have a bankruptcy on your FHA and USDA. You could have a bankruptcy in your file as long as it's three years or older. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you're bankrupt, you don't have to worry about that. And the good thing about the FHA loan is that the FHA loan, I just said you go, you buy yourself a house. Try to buy yourself a house that has, like I said, you you, you can even go up to four a four family home, right? If you if you and if you don't mind living, you know people. You get a four family home. You get three people because you on both on both on both houses on both loans, a USDA loan and an FHA loan. You have to make that your primary home for at least for a year. And on the FHA after a year, you can move out and you can rent it. You you, you can rent it with the USDA is a little bit more. They are a little bit more strict on you renting your USDA house. But FHA no FHA you can rent it out after after the year. So you get yourself a four a four, a four duplex. Or three duplex or two duplex. So what you do? You have a three duplex. You got all these three people paying your rent. You're living rent free. One house, one mortgage, one one payment is paying for the whole entire house. So then you got you got one is paying for the mortgage, right? And you got two incomes coming in. Two incomes coming in. That's great. You could do a double duplex. You could do duplex where you live on one side and the other, and the tenant lives in the other side. And that tenant is paying for your mortgage, and you're living there rent free, I mean mortgage free. All you gotta do is just pay your your electricity and your water. From here, I don't pay water because it's well water. Um, so, so when you go up there, you better make sure you have a good debt to rate, uh, debt to income ratio. Like I said, it's gotta be fifty three percent or or higher or or, or less. Um, they can go up to fifty three percent. You don't want old. You don't want to have small income and then not have enough. You know, you you have income but you have too much debt. They don't want that. They want to rationalize. Okay, you have enough income here. And you have enough to pay your debt, and you have enough to pay the mortgage, right? And another making section that I don't see no one talking about this. You could get a house if you are on SSI. You could get a house if you're on Section Eight. I'm gonna show you. Section 8 does have a program that where they do pay for your mortgage. So instead of them paying for the rent for a landlord, they will pay your mortgage. They won't pay you. They won't come down with a down payment. They won't come down with this. They won't come down with that. But they will pay your mortgage. So with that said, if you have Section 8, make sure that you talk to your caseworker and say, Listen, I heard that Section 8 and ask him how, how does it work. But I've seen it done. I just don't know how, how how the steps are, but I've seen it done. If you're an SSI and you got two people that are on SSI with you, you, your son, and you know, and then your son's SSI is going to be for more than three years. If your son's going to get or your daughter going to get SSI for more than three years, then you can you can go you can get yourself a house with the SSI because they count that as an income. Okay, don't forget that you could you could do it with SSI and you could do it with section eight okay so don't think that you can um so like i was saying before so each state has a program the most logical one that a lot of people go with is the chinoa program chinoa pays you up to they pay you your your down payment until eight thousand dollars but the good thing is that it's a forgivable program it's a forgivable loan because their requirement is that you got you got to stay there for <clears throat> you got to make payments for thirty six months, which is three years, without missing the payment. Once you make those payments, those thirty six months payments, those three years, then that loan they give you is forgivable. It's forgivable, so you don't have to pay that back. North Carolina, a few two years ago, enrolled in what is called um, North Carolina Housing Development something, 
and they give you up to $8,000 in closing costs. But the thing with this one, the difference between this one and the one from Chanel is that this one is a 15 years, 15 years loan. And it's forgivable, but the, ca the caveat here is that you have to be in that home for 15 years. You have to, after the, after the 10th year, they start deducting 20%. You don't pay into this, guys. You know, because they loan you the money for, for the down payment. You don't, you don't, you don't, your mortgage stays, your mortgage is the same. You're not paying them anything separately. They're not, they're not saying, okay, you got to pay it back. No. So your mortgage is your mortgage. So they lend you the $8,000. You put that towards your down payment. You don't get, you don't see no money. You put that towards your down payment. And then after the 10th year, you, they start reducing 20% of what you owe until you get to the 15th year. Uh, and once the 15 years is up, boom, that's it. You're going to pay that much. But if you move out before the 15 years, you got to pay that, 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 that $8,000 back all together. That's, and that's one of the things, that's what swayed me away. But there's a program that's out there. You got programs in New York, upstate New York. You got window programs. You got programs where they... If you go to upstate where they themselves, if you qualify, they will pay you your down payment. You don't have to pay it back after a certain amount of time. And if you decide to move out, then what happens is that the person who buys the house, they have to qualify for that program in order for that program to be transferred to that person. So there are programs out there that can help you. Um, I suggest that you get yourself a broker, not go to a lender. A broker works harder for you. They have their own... They have their own um, underwriter. Um, so I, I, I like working more with a broker when it comes to my real estate than I do with a with a lender. You know, so you get you get yourself a house. You like the house. I suggest uh, with the FHA loan and the USDA loan, you don't have to have a house inspection. You don't have to. It's not required, but it's recommended. Because you don't want to buy a house and all of a sudden um, things don't look out, things don't work out for you. And then once you buy it, that's it. There's no going back. At least, you know, you're, 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 you're paying for the house. You're paying for the inspection and you will know what's going on. Inspection goes between $400 to $600. So that's not bad because you're getting the whole house inspected by a professional and they'll give you a report. And you can go by that report because if you see something that you don't like in that report, then you can always, you know, okay, you know what? I need you to take a, like, like, like I was going to buy a house when I moved here. He, the guy wanted $70,000. And when I saw the report, I was like, no, no, no. Then they were like, what What you want for it? Um, they, he, they were even willing to go as far as 10, the, to knock off $10,000. The roof had to be done. Automatically, the roof had to be done. And I really wasn't, I really, I didn't have the money to, to, to do a roof. So I really wasn't. So when, when they when they finally sold it, they sold it from 70000 they sold it all the way to fifty-five thousand. It was sold for fifty-five thousand. So that they, they took they, they took fifteen thousand dollars off because they knew that the floor the, the the AC had to be done, the crawl space had to be done because it was it was done bad, the AC the, the the roof had to be done. So you know, and I guess I guess you know when you get these houses when you got houses you get home you you buy yourself home warranty, which is maybe like six hundred dollars a year. You could pay you could pay it up front. This is the six hundred dollars. I'm not worried about it. Or pay it monthly, and then once once something's wrong with your appliance or your house, then you call them. But you have to have you have to pay. Depending on who it is, you have to pay a service charge. So for me, I got um, choice warranty, and every time my technician comes out, I have to give out eighty five dollars. Um, but sometimes it's worth it, and sometimes it's not. You know, because they usually don't pay. They usually don't fix what what they did they. they you don't fix what you want them to fix, to be honest with you. Um, so, so, so you got those programs. You got the funding. So you, you you take advantage of those programs. You know, like I said, the FHA, the FHA. If you buy a duplex house, threeplex, two fourplex, and you can rent, you can rent those out, and make sure that when you rent them out, you vet you vet these people out. You got to vet these people out. Got to make sure that they they they, they don't have. Bad credit, I have another person to, to, to judge people on the credit, but make sure that they don't have, um, that they owe back rent somewhere else, you know, or, or, you know, call their references, say, this is a good person, because you want to rent someone who's going to pay you constantly, unless you want to work 
unless you want to pay, unless you want to go with Section Eight and have Section someone from Section Eight pay your rent. I mean, you know, pay you the other the other houses. So it all, you know, it, it all depends. But you can buy your own house. You don't have to, you know, live in a rented house. It's two thousand dollars. I give you an example. My rent in New York was twenty one hundred dollars. Twenty one hundred. My mortgage here is four hundred ninety two. Twenty one hundred dollars for four ninety two. The whole entire house, the house lot, the with the lot, the lot was four thousand four thousand square feet. The house maybe was like nine hundred and something square feet. The house, the house itself. And here, my my house is small because I use nine hundred and eighty square feet, both upstairs. And then I have another nine hundred square feet down in the basement. That's that's a finished basement. And then I have, and then I have, uh, I think it's. 11 or 13,000 square feet a lot. And all I pay is 492 a month. And my and why they I'm 10 minutes away from town. 10 minutes away. I'm in a rural area here in Eden. Um I'm 10 minutes away. I'm 10 minutes away from 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 the store. I'm 10 minutes away from from Walmart. I'm 10 minutes away from the doctor's office. I'm 10 minutes away from the dentist. I'm 10 minutes away from my job. Granted, there's no mass transportation. They got some services that they can come pick you up if you have Medicaid or you you don't have Medicaid, you pay them and they'll come pick you up for a dollar stuff like that. Yeah, but you have to call them in advance. It's like accessory from New York. Um, so you could do that. You know, so, you know. So, but you you have choices. You don't have to rent. You you don't think that oh I have to rent and I have to pay. No no no. The, the people say oh but what about the the, the repairs? Don't worry about the repairs. That's what you do. That's why you do your home inspection. Even with home inspection, doesn't guarantee you anything, but at least you go over there with a good head. And the good thing about the FHA loan that you can you can use it for condominiums. If you don't want to get an apartment, you can use it for condominium. You can get yourself a townhouse. But condominiums are now. Last year, the FHA was they did a good rule. Uh, they expanded more on the condominium, so now you can get you can get a condo if you don't want to get um, a house. Pay a little bit more because you don't have to have HOA or you have to have maintenance costs in it, you know, because where they pick up your garbage, they do the outside, they do something wrong with the plumbing, so, you know, stuff like that. But you got to pay that. So you, you could get a townhouse, you could get a condo with FHA, not with USDA, but with FHA you can. The VA is self explanatory, the VA is no money down. Um, but you got to be, in a, you got to be a vet, you know, so those, those are good for people who are, who are VA. You know that you don't have to pay a down payment for your house, and usually you get you guys get the best rates anyway. And you know, in three point five compared to a conventional loan, three point five percent down is not bad. So if your house is if your house is a thousand a hundred thousand dollars, all you got to put down is three point five percent, and you, someone else can put someone else can gift it to you also. So not that come out of your pocket, it could be a gift. That that three point five percent now could be a gift, you know. Um, so. So if you have something wrong with your credit, or there's something that you that, that you think that you gotta get your credit, I can you can help you out. I'm gonna help people out a lot. Um, I'm gonna be very honest with you. If I cannot help you, I will tell you. I'm not gonna be like these big companies that will take your money or pay me monthly. I'm not like that. I'll look at your credit and if your credit, if I see something that I cannot help you with, I'll tell you I cannot do it. Um, you just better off waiting for this to come off your your credit report because it's not much that you can do. Um, they're big companies. They, they charge you thousand dollars to fix your credit for something you could do for free. Um, it's just not right. You know they'll drag you, they'll drag you, they'll drag you, they'll drag you. But if you need help with your credit, please let me know, and I will help you. Um, I will tell you um, all I charge. To be honest with you, it's one hundred and twenty-five dollars. I will tell you what to do. Um, I've helped other people out with getting loans, buying homes. And it's basically what I well, you know what I tell you if I if I if I can help you do your credit because you can do it for free you don't need, you don't even need me to be honest with you you can do it for free you, know, you see a discrepancy in there you can call if you see that that doesn't belong to you you can call if it has passed seven years a certain something you can call have them take it off but there are people who don't have the time to do this they don't have the time to call they don't have the time to do this they don't have the time to do that so that's why I come in I step in I say well I charge you one twenty five and I'll do this and you're gonna see and you're gonna see a credit change within thirty days. If it's, if I can take certain things out, you see your credit change in 30 days. But in those 30 days that I'm doing this, and those 30 days that I'm doing that, or whatever days it takes me, don't take out a credit card. Don't take out no more loans. Don't go on a crazy because my lot of people, oh, I, 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 I apply for a credit card. See, now, by you doing that, you're killing me. 
because your score is going to go down. It'll first go down the one because you ate, because of the inquiry, and then later on two or three months it'll go up again. But we don't want to wait those two or three months because you want to get the house now. And a transaction for a house takes maybe thirty days, sixty days, depending how quick the seller wants to do it, depending how you know how, how the paperwork is. So 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 if your broker tells you, hey man, King Gio, um, we got a fixed rate at. 3.4 or 3.3. This is a lock rate. Take it. You boom. Okay, let's lock the rate up. You lock it. I think you have 30 days to to do the closing thing. Uh, there is a, there is an extension, which is a little you got to pay a little bit more, not much, but you have it. You have the fixed rate at 3.4. The downside of this FHA and USDA loan is that it comes with. Um, you gotta pay a PMI, mortgage insurance, you know, and that's that's to that that's to the rest of the the loans, um, the life of the loan, and that's where your most of your money goes to see your PMI. You pay a little percentage to your house, a little percentage, of, but most goes to your PMI. So if you can, so if you can, let's just say my four ninety two, if I can pay five ninety two a month, so I'm I'm reducing I'm, I'm reducing my PMI. I think you pay you if, if, if after you get equity in your house, and you, it's a certain amount of time, then you that the PMI goes out. Or if you don't want to pay that PMI, what I suggest is that when you get the house, wait for the year, have your credit stable because they have, they'll do another credit check, and you refinance your house for a lower mortgage rate. Don't wait five years because if you wait five years or ten years to refinance your house, you have to start all over again. Then then they, they tack on, they take away the twenty years that you owe, and they give you another. They'll, they'll tack on a new 30 year. So I would suggest that if you're going to refinance, you refinance it within the first year. You refinance that the first year. And then your PMI is no longer there. You don't get no more PMI. So you don't have that mortgage insurance if you can refinance it. So that's the good thing. You can, you can refinance both USDA loans and FHA loans. <clears throat> even even VA loans, I'm, I'm I'm sure. So you refinance it, you get a lower rate, but you don't have the PMI no more because it's, it's no longer an FHA loan, it's no longer a USDA loan. You know, and then once you get out of that, you can go again and you can apply for another FHA loan. You can apply for another USDA loan, and now you have two houses. You can live one and rent out the other one, and this one pays for that one. That's a good thing. So don't don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. You, there's ways to get a house. You just go out there. I I prefer you guys buying a house than renting. Um, you know, if you have a car, you can go. You know, make sure that lo location, location, location is important for for a lot of people. You know, they work, the kids school. You know, when you when you look at the places to to find a job, to find um, um a place to live, very important that you have a good school system. Every every neighborhood that you go to um, if you want to if you see a good school system then then that the neighborhood is pretty good um, so that's what a lot of people that I look at schools I look at crime um, I look at the neighborhood <clears throat> you know because you don't want a house in a rundown neighborhood when I went to Syracuse New York you have one house and all ten houses were were were, were down you know I don't want to live like that even if they, even if they gentrify the place it's still not my thing. And I and I took a USDA loan because I wanted to be away from the city. I didn't want to be in the city. I really didn't, you know. So this is for me. It's, it's perfect. I got my own backyard. I got I got I got close to half an acre, <clears throat> you know. So I'm good. I am. I'm really good. Going from twenty one hundred dollars a month in rent to four hundred ninety two dollars of uh, a mortgage is not bad. I don't pay water. Yes, I do pay water. I pay I, I pay light. I I have petroleum gas. So that's maybe I pay that maybe once every four or five months, I mean, if that. Man, it should be once a year because I have a big tank and then I have a small tank up another big tank, but it's smaller for the kitchen to, um, for the kitchen stove. So these things can be done. Like I said, you could have SSI, which as long as there's two SSIs in your family, you could do it. Um, you go to Section Eight. You have Section Eight. Have your Section Eight up, um, caseworker. Ask him or her how does it work. Always look for a housing program, um, a down payment program. It's called a down payment program. Each state has it. If you can go with your local bank, it's even better. Um, 
what is this to say bankruptcy doesn't matter as long as it's three years over old i'm sorry three years old and you just start from there and if you have any questions any doubts you know feel free to contact me leave me your email i will get back to you um i always answer i always answer my 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 my, my comments so you don't have to worry about that and i get back to you and then together we can you know i can help you get you you know get get you that dream home or that dream condominium or that dream townhouse because you guys, it doesn't have to be home. It could be a condominium if you feel more comfortable with that, you know. But anyway, just make sure that you know, you know, twenty twenty. Now's a good time where everything's going on. You know, I know it's a pandemic going on. He's like, how can I buy a house? But it's a, it's it, it's a good way now to to buy a house. You know, people are gonna sell cheap. Soon they're gonna sell cheap, and you don't want to take advantage. You know, I don't want to buy this house to this person. It's gonna sell the house because it's a pandemic. You know, it is what it is. But you know, you gotta take advantage of it. That's that's, that's the way. It's called business. You know, um, you don't want to do it that way, but certain circum certain circumstances have dictated that you have to do it that way, and you don't want to move. So you don't want to buy something out because you know this isn't that. But it is what it is. You know, so that's the way you do it. You know, like I said, so it can be done. Don't discourage yourself. You cannot get a house. Uh, you can get a house, and some people like being in an apartment. You know, they don't want to pay for it. They don't pay. Okay, fine. I understand that, but I prefer I prefer people buying their own home instead of renting. You know, so that's just me. So, guys, thank you. You like the hat, like the merch. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, guys. When you watch my videos, please stay on it, on it as long as you can. If it's to the end, even even better. Um, you know that uh, YouTube analyzes the views, and that's you know the, the the time that you guys spend is very important. So, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. See you tomorrow or later on. Okay, peace out. God bless. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Subscribe is easy. You just subscribe. I get subscriptions. I get more ads. You know, do you know what I mean? Okay, I hope you know what I mean.